my beautiful people welcome back to my channel i'm natalie and thank you so much for stopping by please do make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already and as you can tell from this title i am starting school again if you've been following me for a while now you know that i was on holiday for the past two months and yeah so it is 1 p.m on a sunday afternoon today is the last day of the holiday we go back to school tomorrow and i just got back from the library where i managed to get a few books i just got four books you guys know already that i like using books like different books for my courses so yeah i thought i'd check the library out to see if they had anything interesting there and they did i'm about to start preparing my meals for the week so for breakfast i'll be having waffles so i've got my flour my eggs some vanilla essence ice sugar white sugar and i'm just going to get the rest of the ingredients and then i'm also going to make some corn and I'm gonna make some salad later on. And then I'm gonna make fish and mince for my pasta. table looks like this semester these are like three periods and this is 8 to 10 10 to 12 um, to 4 and 4 to like just before 6 I guess and yeah so it's not I basically only have one class after 3 p.m. and yeah, it's not bad it's not bad at all it means like I have enough time in the afternoon to do some studying and that's good. So I just wanna I just wanna quickly show you guys how I actually go about filling my habit and mood tracker. If you watched my bullet journaling and organization video, you'll have seen what this page is all about. But I just thought I'd show you how I do it. So yeah. Um when I woke up in the morning I did pray. So yeah. I'm doing my devotions before I sleep. I did some life planning today. I gave some compliments. I didn't do everything on my health track, so I can't check that. I didn't study because I have nothing to study. I'm not about to be studying the day before school opens. It's my day to rest and my house is very clean. There are no dishes in the sink. I was journaling today. I did all my socials. And yeah, so the only thing I'm left with is devotions, which I'm going to do when I get into bed. o'clock in the morning and I just I'm struggling to get out of bed I woke up at 6 then at 6 15 then at 6 30 then at 6 45 and now I actually need to get out of bed but yeah 
Um, I had about eight hours of sleep, but I still feel like I just <laughs> I want to sleep. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's do this. Outfit of the day. It's like comfy boots, jeans, and a white t-shirt, and my very versatile bag. And never forget your water bottle. That's all. It is 7.40 and I'm leaving my house now. I teach you what to pull a gym in. I've been doing this now for what? Five, four, four years since I've been here, guys, you know? This can put your life in order, you know, guys? Uh -huh. And, you know, this really makes it good. Because I like my nuts to be neat and classy. And <laughs> <laughs> What they find is the human man, you really have to go for the emergency diagnosis when we see that I have children. So my first class is at 8 in the morning and I didn't have breakfast before I left so when I came back at 9.40 I just had my cereal while I unpacked my bag and packed it for the afternoon and after that I went and had my breakfast. Because I meal prep and all that life is so simple for me I want to have breakfast now I just had my cereal I'm gonna have like a proper breakfast now and all I have to do literally is open my fridge take out what I'm having and I also want to have a scrambled egg so I quickly made that but that doesn't even take a minute I just got home it's around 4 p.m. actually it's like 4 30 and I passed through the shops so so I got home late but my class was done at 3 40 yeah so it's an hour later and um, yeah I'm about to eat and watch something I just realized that take two has two episodes out that I haven't seen and I'm like <gasps> I love take two if you guys are looking for like series recommendations there's something light-hearted nothing too serious but like still entertaining and not like stupid um, yeah watch take two it's it's really nice huh I'm so happy oh ah, yeah so I'm just gonna um, eat and watch that and then later on I'll do some reading and write notes and all that So I quickly just want to show you guys my packages. I love these two books. This is the Oxford Handbook of Clinical Medicine. If my book recommendation video, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is one of the handbooks. and. This is the ninth edition, and I do believe that there's a newer edition than this. But this was only 50 RMB, which is about, which is something about like seven or eight dollars. And I thought maybe it was like second hand, or it was in really bad condition or something. So I just ordered, and I ordered one for my friend as well. And I'm actually really impressed because they're in such good condition there i just wow i am so shocked i am like basically these two 100 and the normal price of these here is about 180 for one and i got that for not even half i got it for like wow i'm just wow so i'm happy with that this is a stand for like when you're reading or studying or whatever you take this book for example usually when you're studying the book lies flat like this but with this thing you can actually put your book up straight like so you can put, put your book up straight and if you wanted it lower you take this down and it goes even lower than that so i think this is going to be really cool to use and yeah this was about um okay yeah so i'll leave a link to this below It is um, 
it is Tuesday morning and yeah I got out of bed around 7 a.m. actually no I woke up at 7 a.m. and got out of bed around 7 13 after which I showered had my cereal and then came and sat at the desk so I could do some reading and writing of notes and stuff and yeah I'm having quite a productive morning it's now around 9 30 and my first class today is at 10 10 so now I'm just gonna pack up my stuff here then I'm gonna have my breakfast and yeah I'm gonna head to school and <laughs> you guys will see that I talk about having cereal and then talk about having breakfast that's because I don't actually consider cereal as like a breakfast meal I mean I eat it in the morning yeah but it's not like cereal doesn't fill me up enough for me to actually go out and be productive so I usually just have cereal as like just to add on to what I eat in the morning so yeah that's why in case you're confused why I'm talking about cereal and then breakfast yeah so yeah <laughs> Twenty-four minutes, never seen a hallway. Been chilling in a bando, working on a mix. That my nigga key told me, cut you by the pull-up. Getting bitch ready, cause we got him lines ready. Yeah. Twenty-four minutes, never seen a hallway. Been chilling in a bando, working on a mix. That my nigga key told me, cut you by the Good evening everybody, it is 6.15pm on a Tuesday afternoon, I just got home and I am going straight to the shower, I feel so dirty and yeah, I just want to shower and then come back and sit down. It is 8.30pm and I have caught up on all the videos from my favourite YouTubers and I've watched all my episodes of like the soapies I watch from home and i've literally done everything that i don't need to do and i haven't done a single thing i'm supposed to actually be doing and your yeah, guilt is kicking in now so i'm gonna head to my desk and do some reading yeah Today's Wednesday and um, I just had a neurology and now it's around 11 a.m. and my next class is at 2 and I have my first hospital class this afternoon and yeah so it's the first hospital of the year. I just want to talk about my courses and kind of my schedule this semester so for this semester I have seven modules OBGYN pediatrics medicine surgery which are four courses that I had already started and so we're continuing with those we're just doing the last parts of pediatrics and OBGYN and medicine and then surgery will have one more semester next semester and then so apart from those four, the new modules I have are neurology, ENT and ophthalmology um, I'm actually really excited about doing ENT because the professor who we have is really good. He's got a lot of titles and a lot of authority and whatever and he's also a very humble person and he's very 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 good. He's a really good teacher and I was really impressed with his teaching yesterday and he even brought like his whole team with him. So even though they weren't teaching us, he brought them with and they were kind of sitting in the back just watching and that and that was really cool. This is common in medicine. You have different doctors teaching you different modules and stuff. So for example, medicine, right? Internal medicine is a broad, 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 broad course. And you don't just have one doctor teaching you the entire thing because there's specialist doctors, there's neurologists, there's cardiologists, there's um, you know, endocrine people, there's respiratory people, there's so many different doctors and so they'd all come but we never got introduced to all of them as like, okay, this is the team that's teaching you this subject and here they are. They just kinda come and like, hello, I'm Dr. Wei. 
I'm doing this. Then next week, it's another person. Hello, I'm Dr. This, and I'm doing this. And so it was really nice yesterday to have the entire team that's going to be teaching us um, there so we could actually get a nice introduction to the course. So that's really, that was really cool, I think. This morning, we had neurology, and the neurology teacher we had today was really good as well. She's really passionate about her work, and she also graduated from our school a while ago, like a couple of years ago. And yeah, she was really enthusiastic and really interesting. And I think that's so important, especially at the beginning of the semester, to have good teachers that are enthusiastic and passionate about what they're doing. Because if you have a bad start to a course or a module, you won't be motivated to study it well and you won't really be driven to work hard and stuff. So it's really nice to have good teachers. I'm really impressed with the teachers that I have so far. I mean, it's only Wednesday, but I have had classes Monday, Tuesday, mornings and afternoons and this morning anyway i just thought i'd update you guys and you know check in and yeah while i'm here i just want to say thank you to everyone who watched my back to school series i really 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 like, like words can't express how grateful i am a few people talked about how inspiring and motivating it was for them and that was the purpose of the series so i'm really glad that it helped a few people and that those of you that maybe aren't medical students or students at all, that you were just entertained. So I'm really, how I'm really grateful about that. So now let's get back into the vlog. On the actual on all time of passion, um, passions, further to explicitly So I just got out of a meeting for something. Hello for something I just uh, this this happens a lot in China you'll be minding your own business and kids will scream hello to you and then if you don't say I feel like if I don't say hello back to the kids it's kind of mean so yeah anyway like I was saying I just came out of a meeting and now I am about to go home it is 6 p.m. some sauteed mushrooms with scrambled eggs and chicken sausage and a glass of milk Hello people, it is Friday afternoon, it is 1pm, um, yeah, I got home around 10pm as you saw and then I made breakfast, 10pm, I got home at 10am as you saw and then I had breakfast and from then I was just, after that I was just watching um, YouTube videos and series and stuff like that, just catching up on episodes and stuff. And now it's 1 p.m. I have a meeting at school at 2 p.m. Um, and I was gonna sleep, but I know that if I sleep, I'm going to wake up after the meeting. So I've decided to just sit and do some, um, write some notes. And yeah, so I have about like 45 minutes till I need to leave. Um, yeah, I know everyone's gonna be late, so I'll probably leave maybe like 10 minutes before and it takes me about 15 minutes to get there So I'll be like five minutes late because I know I know my team um, <laughs> Yeah, so That's what I need to do today and yeah Done for the week. Now I'm gonna go to this girl's place and get some of my stuff that I left there last semester. And yeah, Alina, say hi. Hi. <laughs> yep. So hopefully she'll give me some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs>